And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, October 4th, 2019. Let's go to Miguel to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Nathaniel. Today in history, the Soviet Union inaugurates the Space Age, with its launch of the Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. The spacecraft named Sputnik after the Russian word for satellite was lunch at 10.29 p.m. Let's go to DeAndre to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Miguel. Now, today for lunch we have chicken drumstick, cheeseburger, corn muffin, maple baked beans, baby carrots, fresh banana, and your choice of milk. Bon appetit. Now back to Nathaniel. Thank you, DeAndre. That sounds delicious. Patriots, next week we will be celebrating our school spirit week. Monday, October 7th is Dream It Monday. What do you dream of doing when you grow up? Show us! One dollar just down ticket is required each day. We can't wait to see your dream come true. In school news, on Saturday, October 12th, we will be participating in the 5th Annual 7K Breast Cancer Walk. Check-in is at 7 a.m. at Renaissance Charter School at Cooper City. This year's Fall Festival or Trunk or Treat will be on October 26th. Deadline to purchase pre-sale tickets will be October 18th for $4. Please ask your teachers for a pre-sale purchase form. We look forward to seeing everyone come out to these great events. Now let's go to Weather with Angelica. Thank you, Nathaniel. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 90 degrees and partly clouded. Now let's go back to Nathaniel. Thank you, Angelica. Now let's check in with news around the school. Good morning, Patriots. Today I'm here with Mr. Santiago about the Pancake Lab. Thank you for, ha thank you for having us. My pleasure. Happy to be here. Okay. Today we have some five questions for you about your lab. What is the purpose of this lab? All right, so we did our pancake lab. The whole purpose of our pancake lab is uh, for the kids to explore states of matter, uh, solids, liquids, gases, and also get a chance to see physical and chemical changes taking place. So what do you observe right now? Is it a solid or a liquid? Look. A liquid. It looks very liquidy, right? Okay, let's see what happens now. When we put this, let's see what happens when we put this liquid. You can see it on the screen, hopefully. Let's see what happens when we put this liquid onto a heat source. Oh. Oh. Um, what does this lab have to do with the curriculum right now? Well, we're covering those topics. So we're covering uh, mixture solutions, physical changes, chemical changes. So uh, it's more hands-on. They get a chance to uh, see it and also, of course, a chance to eat some delicious food. All right, guys. So we're making the pancake because we're showing what kind of change, Anaya? A chemical. A chemical. Why is this a chemical change? Yeah. How many years have you been doing this pancake lab? This is my third year, and uh, I know my colleague Miss Hendrickson has been uh, doing it even longer than that. So it's a tradition now at this point. It's been going on for a while. What are you doing right now? Right now, I am mixing the lemonade mix into the water. What are you going to put into the trail mix, and what does it include? All right, so the trail mix—that's probably the kids' favorite. So in the trail mix, we have uh, pretzels, marshmallows chocolate chips, gummy bears, uh, goldfish crackers, and uh, that's my class. And I know in Ms. Hendrickson's class, she adds in Skittles. So, you know, they go crazy for that. That's their favorite. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Um, so what are you guys doing with this? Um, 
obviously we're just writing down what we feel and what the colors what are the particle size what's in the pancakes you make all right in the pancakes my pancakes i make them uh delectable with uh pancake mix buttermilk of course and white chocolate chips is the secret ingredient that all the kids love thank you for your time and have a great day Thank you. Happy to be here, guys. Now for today's Hispanic trivia. Where's a famous person from Mexico? Teachers, send your class answer to Ms. Cuadrado. Now let's go to Isabel for our sports update. Thank you, Nathaniel. Yesterday in sports news, girls volleyball had a victory. In other news, October 8th will be the girls basketball and boys soccer tryouts. Completed sport packets will be needed. Please contact Ms. Maxwell for more information. That's a sport update. Now back to Nathaniel. Thank you, Isabel. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly toward others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day. Like Ernst, Ernst, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm like looking for the weather. I'm like, where's the weather? <laughs> All right, come on, one second. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on. Tony <laughs> <laughs> had two. Now that's weird. Tony had two. That's good. It's funny now, but listen. Hey, tuck it in. Okay. Because we're not playing sports, right? Yeah, you know, you know about it.